Hey, I'm Ben. I'm Harris. And we're from the band Blind Avon, and we're in sp the Spitalfields Market, the independent label market. Transgressive Records is right there. Handsome Dad Records is right there. Everything is great. And yeah, we're having a nice day. What's up? <laughs> TV. Welcome to my crib. I just got it today. As a child, my mom was always listening to music and my grandparents loved Queen and were always playing it for me and showing me live performances. And I grew up in Austin, Texas, which has a huge music scene and it has ACL and South by Southwest. My mom was always very supportive of me going to concerts when I was younger and um, leaving school early to go meet like bands and wait in line to go to shows. My dad was definitely an influence growing up. He was a musician. He played in a band called Runt and they were really cool. The guitarist of that band was actually uh, my guitar teacher for a few years. So yeah, I learned a lot from him. But mostly we just talked about music. When I was younger, based on my mom's influence, so like British bands like um, the Ramones, the Who, Velvet Underground, Sex Pistols, and stuff like that. My dad made me love rock and roll by blasting all the Led Zeppelin all the time in the car. And like, I remember getting a record player for like $9.99 on eBay or something, and like taking like Led Zeppelin 3 and being like, damn, damn, this is tasty. <laughs> so yeah, always love rock music from my dad. <laughs> I love discovering new artists and music and I love just getting on Spotify for hours. So even when I think that I found what music I like, what genre I like, um, an artist I like, it's it's always changing. For me, last night in Shepherd's Bush Empire, <laughs> sponsored by the O2, uh, was actually the best London show we did because it felt like a culmination of the album and I was relaxed because we know how to play the songs now so I could just enjoy performing to people and watching everyone have a nice time. Yeah, I mean what an insane venue. Yeah. <laughs> the whole thing was amazing, so many lovely people having such a good time so that was very very special for us. And My favorite live performance I've seen would be Travis Scott. Um, I saw him just like last May at a festival called Soundset in St. Paul and uh, it was, I mean, he headlined it and it was an outdoor concert, it was an outdoor festival and it was just really cool. Like I expected a lot from his performance and it really lived up to it. Like I, I love, I love the energy that his music gives off and I was really hoping and expecting that he would bring that with the live performance and he did fully. I think music definitely brings people together um, that might not be able to meet in any other way. Like you could be outside waiting for a show and meet your best friend because she's waiting in line in front of you when if it wasn't for that band you would have not met this person whatsoever. It's how I've met a lot of my friends as well through music so yeah I definitely don't want to stop because I seem to keep yeah meeting more and more creative people so it's cool. It gave me a whole group of friends that I met on the internet or at concerts that I never would have met if it weren't for that band. I love the atmosphere at concerts, that it's just a whole bunch of fans getting together just to see an artist that has made this music. And it brings just everybody together. Like you might not have anything in common, but you have this one band in common. <laughs> I think just like 
just like the sound just like hearing the sound that someone makes and kind of trying to dissect how and why they were able to make that sound like put that make that music that has this sound that uh, un, like when you hear it there's you can't even question if it's real or not you can just like you, you just feel it. Um, I mean, I have a really lovely time because our job is kind of making nice music together and then playing it to people that it makes really happy. So, I don't know, I think people, a lot of our fans seem to like be at the age where like people are like, I don't know, going through a bit of a tough time and our music seems to make them feel a bit better and like our album's a lot about that so it helps them understand it a bit more. So that's really nice for me. Music in general is my safe place no matter how I'm feeling or what I've done, you know, music is always there for me. So I think shows are just great outlets for people to go and just be expressive of themselves as well as just listening to pieces of music that um, have mean a lot to them. Obviously it's a really good release, like when you're stressed or when you're like sad or whatever, it's quite therapeutic. But also like I said before, I think I, I mean aside from just the fact that I really love playing shows and just find it fun, um, yeah like I said before, it's just a really good way to meet people, uh, um, other creative people and yeah, people who are inspiring, I guess. These days it's very easy to like be in touch with your fans and the people who like music as well. I think it's probably probably been a bit more distant in the past, but now everyone yeah. can communicate freely and so it's like quite a nice giving back and forth. That is wicked, like yeah. The fan the fact that people can eat so easily get in touch and be like, Oh, this made me feel this way and thank you very much. Like it's it's amazing. They don't have to like queue outside forever to like meet us. Which some people do, and that's wicked, but others can like tweet at us and say, Wow, thank you for helping me feel better, and that means a lot to all of us. Yeah. I think that music is one of the most important things, not just in my life, but in every person's life, and um, I think that it will never stop being important. It's an amazing way to talk about political issues, to talk about problems in the world, and you know, it, it actually is like a form of art and a form of communication, and I think that it'll be around forever, and it should be around forever because it's extremely important. Oh, it's good time around that. That's yeah. Come on, yeah.